Stuart, a uh, 3-0 loss to Crusaders today. What are your thoughts on that one? Same as last week. I thought we were really competitive first half. I thought we'd done really well. And um, I told them what they were going to do. And we knew what they were going to do. And we haven't dealt with it. Um, the three goals are poor. Um, but they've brought on a lot of quality. And we've struggled today. They, they follow our bench. And we're trying to protect her as best we can for um, the final five games. So... Um, yeah, disappointing. We were competitive, but going forward, or if we're going to try and improve the football club, we've got to be competitive for 90, not 45. Yeah, after that, even first half, and it was frustrating then the start of the second half. I had to make a change and forced into it with Sergi going off and Jamal coming on at right back. Yes, this is not Sergi 250 game today for the club, which is great. Um, and he's played to the PM bar, but with three senior centre halves missing at the moment, and we're struggling to fill the void. And Sergi's played with a calf injury. And it's just going to stay half time. He struggles to come back out again. So, yeah, we've had to make a change. But then we give away a terrible goal. And we give a ball away, and we're comfortable on the ball. We give a ball away in, the, in our defensive third. And they were clinical. Um, and it really disappointing. So, yeah, we move on. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a tough couple of weeks, you know, with some of the, the recent, you know, games against the likes of Glen Torn as well. But a case now of taking a couple of weeks off and, and recharging and, and refreshing ahead of the, the split that'll come next month. Yeah, we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. Just said that the boys. <laughs> if anybody thinks that it's not going to be it's not going to be tough against Crusaders away and Glen Torn, then they're deluded. If I'm being honest. So we just have to be grounded. We've done very well. We've got five cup finals coming up now, so with two weeks, we we'll, we'll might get a wee bit of a break, and we'll see who's av fit and available for the, the first game. So we've put ourselves in a good position. We just got to keep try our, try our horse and try to get where we want to get to. And the positive today as well to see Stuart Nixon back on the pitch. Obviously, he's had some minutes with the, the under twenties, but you know, got 15, 20 minutes there on the on the wing and did very well. Yeah. Um, that says a lot about us because he's played for the 20s this morning and uh, we're that short today he's coming and he's came on and at first I thought he was quite short when he came on so and that was tough because this is where he got hurt so yep yeah, fair play to him he's had a long journey to get back in the team it's been a near nearly a year I think and um, hopefully now he can add a wee bit extra to us now going forward in the final five games and, and then hopefully then next year I believe it'll be Newry City at, at home in the, the first game of the, the split fixtures. What are your, your thoughts when we're we'll going to that one in, in two weeks' time? <laughs> it's not going to be easy. They're fighting for our lives. It's, listen, it's dog eat dog down there. So we have to win our games, and um, especially the home games. And as long as we're still in a fight with two games to go, then we'll do okay. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you.